Rappers. Politically correct, ignore his story. Diverse samurai, one leg Tory. Ubisoft cancels Tokyo game show. Atomic light burns so bright it leaves shadows. Yasuke hip hop ugly lady. Max inclusion, black rock gravy. Disintegrate, vaporize, evaporate. Unkissed Hershey cannot menstruate. Sensitive consult, unapologetic. Johnny Somali is now prophetic. Triggered, angry, don't know their gender. Even statues are now offenders. Pay for bots, embrace dishonor. Plunging stock, Nagasaki goner. Any percent will they delay? Ubisoft speedrun bankruptcy. Hello, beta testers. The winds of change are blowing. Ubisoft, Daishobu. Fail gaslighting and run away. Force gay Yasuke, me pay? No way. Like and subscribe to join over 107,000 noticers who get to kick back and watch the rest of the internet catch up to the woke poison that DEI grifters thought would just be the new normal because their insecure, confused asses are so triggered by pretty and titty that the only thing they can attempt is to shriek harassment and death threats and racism to anyone criticizing, even though they turn a blind eye to the same racism, death threats, and harassment as they justify redefining whatever crazy nightmare is coming down the pipes from their masters for them to parrot today. They could avoid the harassment the same way that they avoid our criticism. They shut it down instantly because they're quote, exhausted, but not too exhausted to entertain death threats while they omit covering facts when people actually get threats by entities representing sensitivity consultants like Sweet Baby Inc. because they have to defend and damage control for their industry but bodies. We didn't do this to your credibility, you did, when you refused to report the truth. The reason you have to avoid doing so is because of how instantly it would invalidate your arguments and you for choosing to defend these monsters that game developers vocally will now not work with because of the risk they pose. Sales. So good luck trying to gaslight away the number as big as 400,000 in the way of people indicating that they don't want this. Uh, in case that number is confusing or easy to forget, it's around the ballpark of what they're claiming it cost Sony to fail with Concord. So busy trying to pretend that those designs are not DEI or woke. <laughs> you ignore reality and the majority of people who already understand that they will not buy this particular pronoun flavored brand of garbage. The gaslighting has become endlessly motivational and how desperate defenders have become as they shamelessly tell lies in exchange for favors and payment is indicative of the initial Gamergate. Payment for positive coverage is accelerating the shift with a noticeable tide turn clocked even by your most deluded allies as you call them. As funny as I find the irrelevance choking, inhaling their own farts in their echo chambers, my hype lies with the Mecha Break, a game that's a hero shooter. Those are supposed to be out of style, right? But Marvel Rivals, but Deadlock will be fine. And this pretty titty jiggle physics you with me game will have no issues securing the millions that it already did. A mech game has better customization than Top Scar, Dragon Age, Ellen Page. Maybe they can gaslight people into believing their eyeballs don't work. The RPG game. Have you seen Rocksteady working on a new Batman? How funny, because the previous decade's incarnation of the studio necessary to make that work 
is long gone and rock steady in its current husk of a zombie incarnation is not fit to mop a locker room if Warner Brothers is stupid enough to find out as it fights sex appeal for yet another anti-hetero nightmare then Zaslov will have another video game Batgirl on his hands in the era of our Lord Concord Christ but at least they were smart enough to take that brand damaging dog out back and put it down. Nintendo flexing its muscles at Pal World hurts, but it needs to happen to show the industry what popularity brings. The industry needs to appeal as best it can, as hard as it can, as quickly as it can, and earn all the money that's coming to it in the event that they need to fight to survive against literal early access shills and identity politics obsessed monsters eager and willing to lie and fudge numbers, fuck up votes, lie about feedback, give best selling games a one out of 10 in the middle of their irrelevant boycotts because unlike the phallic instruments they're typically reviewing, this game don't fit up they ass quite as well. Barf, you fucking weirdo. But we're the weirdos according to the alphabet specialists. We're the talentless freaks. How dare we not buy your DEI woke slop. You're aggressively terrified of titty and terrorist behavior behind the scenes to muscle your horseshit in front of eyeballs even though you know people hate it and you might have gotten away with it too if it weren't for your own damn mouth you attention starved cock now translators are telling lies about entire studios the beauty is this simple people who never jumped online at this point to communicate or get informed or enlightened normies they know better than to buy this lazy performative cancer and all those normies cared about was a good functional game but you have presented something inferior your diverse and inclusive incarnation this version is objectively inferior to what came before and is entirely unworthy of the price you're expecting you entities are entitled and why Feel shame, failure to once again move goalposts and declarations that it was your intention to destroy is part of your cope. Even though for once in their life, they're actually telling the truth. You know, if a lot of us tried this, we'd probably be, you know, fired for not doing our jobs well or even taken the court to, to just have them squeeze all the money out of us since it's clear that we're intentionally doing this thing. But again, I guess it's all just according to plan. And faith among your typical gamer is at such an all-time low that we'd be surprised if you assholes could figure out a crazy taxi without woken that up somehow. Are cars too bad? You know, Kyle Bossman said that cop car should be end the world. Should they just all be wheelchairs instead, you fucking losers? IGN constantly caught trying to downplay whatever players love and glaze what they wish they preferred, but just like a Forbes journalist, it's clear that they cannot report the news as it is. They must inject and claim what they wish the news was. They hope this new normal for a modern audience. <laughs> <laughs> Politics. No, no, yeah, we, we get it, yeah. And maybe we've become exceedingly good at spotting this. This highly divisive coverage, this political injection, Ubisoft has become so scared that they physically will not show up to the biggest Tokyo fucking game show to market their game. Because they know it would make optics worse. Beta testers, my foreign friends, Japanese peeper. You have articulated your concerns, your disapproval, and avoided financially investing in what clearly does not respect you. If all of this woke game, uh, sweet baby ink hit detection, gamer X sensitivity consultation bullshit grifters are people that they care so much about throwing their money away on for a service that they of course do about as well as the developers making this fall through the map abortion they're calling launch ready in a post MCU post forces female. We're not going into this. Genshin Impact collects more and more and more and more and more. 
and more and more and more off of its Jiggle Physics waifu game. Crimson Desert's really setting everybody on fire. Wow, what a spectacle. It's because they were collecting off of that Jiggle Physics Black Desert Online up until now. Nikkei Goddess of Victory came before Stellar Blade, and it's going to do things in the future by not pissing people off. That goes a long way, but we'll talk about it when you're ready to fucking listen, okay? The money that Genshin Impact and these Jiggle Physics Pleasing the Fans games make is what allows them to flex the kind of power that you're seeing Nintendo manage on POW World right now. Please, the people who you are selling to, gamers are majority boys, same as they ever were, same as they always will be. Kick-ass fun with hot babes and buff dudes. Not woke cringe sacrificing fun for grown-worthy agenda injection from out-of-touch, dyed-hair, fat, lonely, woke Californians. <laughs> Pussy so triggered by life outside of their echo chamber that they're preemptively blocking people on Elon Musk's site that they'd never leave because backpats are like their entire existence while they tell their this happened stories. Oh my God. People don't even want to buy Ubisoft's dip. So forgive me for stepping over these yapping corpses who are trying to argue about whether the ship is sinking when the water's up to their chest. Get that popcorn ready. Most of us have been framing this up to get it from the best angles. I'll see you next layoffs, guys. I love you to death, beta testers. Keep kicking ass. Like the video to get it out to the algorithm. Join the Discord. Jump on the wish list and go judge it. Do whatever you want to do. Some of you have become patrons. Some of you are donating off stream. And I love you. And I appreciate you, man. You deserve better. And you're going to get it. But what is overwhelming is that the people that we're not even talking to have also had enough. That's how bad Woke had to get. And you could say it's a bunch of other factors. But as a comic book boy, I can tell you just how much damage you do with ugly on the cover, with same on the 